Well, there's a lot of different things. A lot of different things happened. Whether it was the breakdown of my marriage, drugs, lots of stuff. I don't really know what the answer is. Um, yeah, I don't know what the answer is. There's a lot of different, I could answer that in a lot of different ways. There's the obvious one, get a job, which, you know, obviously isn't always that easy. And people have said things like, you know, why not go to prison? Why not go and commit a crime? So at least you've got a roof over your head and food. So, yeah, why don't you go to prison instead of sitting there? My mum I haven't spoken to for about 10 years. She couldn't handle the whole drug thing when I got into that. Um, so yeah, not spoken to her for about 10 years. My dad, probably the happiest time was when I used to go on tour with my dad and he used to take me off and he used to list the jag and we used to go and see bands and stuff. I mean, the weather's always an issue. Um, I mean, when it's wet, it's horrible because it's really hard to get dry again. Um, cold and also in the wet people are less likely to stop and sort of help because they just want to get undercover themselves which is understandable um, so they're some of the worst times but at different times of the year you have different issues I guess in the summer sometimes it can be a bit slow too because people seem to think it's easier being homeless in the summer because the weather's nicer and you don't you know don't necessarily think that actually it still costs the same for a night shelters and food whatever time of the year it is. No, I had a private education, um, very good education, very middle class background, family had money, um, went to university, got a degree in counselling. Um, now I've trained in a lot of things, I'm a trained hairdresser, worked for Beedow Sassoon's, I can fly a plane. Um, yeah, I mean I'm well educated, big reader, big traveller. And that surprises a lot of people, you know, when they stop and talk to you and take the time and the effort to actually stop and talk to me. They're often very surprised by that. It doesn't matter what people give me. Um, it's just the fact that um, people acknowledge you, people recognise you're there, and the fact that people will stop and help is an incredible thing to me. Um, yeah, I think it amazes me. It doesn't matter if it's 2p, 10p, £10, doesn't matter, it doesn't come into it. It's just the fact that people want to help. Yeah, just generally Christians, they always want to stop and to sort of tell you that Jesus loves you and, you know, things will get better. And I mean, I know it's meant in the best possible way and, you know, it's very nice of them, but I haven't seen him or met him, so I haven't really, unless I see something, I need to see stuff with my own eyes to believe in it and you know, I don't really have strong, strong views in that. There may be something, but I don't know what. But yeah, I get quite a lot of people stopping and talking to me about that. It's very easy to just sort of lose your faith in people, I think, often with all the stuff that goes on in the world and you know, just walking around towns, you can often feel quite invisible and people are often quite stuck in their own worlds and lives. But it's amazing being on your ass and being sat on the street, you know, like I said before, you can meet some amazing people, you know, and people that stop and try and help you. They've got no reason or to do that, they don't know me, so it does, it really renews your faith in mankind. Um, I guess that's the million dollar question. Um, I think true happiness is, I mean, it's different for everybody. It's all relative. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is yet. Hopefully I'll find it. You know, I've had some happy moments and some sad moments, same as everyone. But true happiness, yeah, it's, it's relative. And yeah, I'll let you know about that.
trying today? Top trumps. Excellent. It does really renew your faith in mankind. You meet some amazing people out there.